Now we have a problem. There are two rules in Mayan math. One is you can only have four dots together. Because after four dots, you have to put in a raya. Then the second rule is you can only have three rayas together. So this is the largest number you can do in Mayan. Four dots, three lines. Then you have to do something different. So we're at a crossroads. We have to change this up. If we want to do 20, let me show you how they do 20 and see if you can kind of figure out what they did. This is 20. So we go from 19, which is three rayas and four puntos, to a punto over a concha. If this is 20, what number is this? It's 40. If this is 40, this is 60. If this is 60, what number is this? If you said 200, you're correct. So we have 20, which is a punto over a concha. Then what number is this? If this is 20, 20, this? If you said 22, that is correct. If this is 22, this number is 21. 21 then is 23. If this is 23, this number is 25. So I think you're starting to see how this is formed a little bit. If this is 25, this number is 45. Let's look at how they did this. You've probably figured out that 5 times 1 is 5 down at the bottom. The one on top, you've probably already figured out, is multiplied by 20. So if there are two dots times 20, that's 40. Then you add them together and you have 45. Let's try another one. We have this number with this number over top of it. So if you have two numbers like that, two 19s, one over top of the other, you will have 19 times 1 is 19. 19 times 20 is 380. You add those together. That number is 399. Now we have a problem there, because we have the number on the bottom, which is three rayas and four puntos. The number above it is three rayas and four puntos. So now we're out. We have to do something different if we want to go to 400. If we want to do 400, this is where the concha begins to come into play. We're going to replace the bottom number with a concha, which is worth zero, so zero times one is zero. Replace the top one with a concha, zero times 20 is zero. And we throw a dot above it. This number right here is 400. If this is 400, what number is this? It's 800. If this is 800, what number is this? It's 1,200. How do we figure this out? This number must be 400. So 3 times 400 is 1,200. You add those together and you have 1,200, 1,200. If that's 1,200, then what number is this? 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 20 is 20. 1 times 400 is 400. Add them up. This number then is 421. 